this video will show a couple of sales reports and uh, various ways that you could look at the, at the data of past sales and ongoing sales. So this is a, a database of migrated sales data. So uh, upon migration, this is uh, what uh, your data would also be similar to. So for example, in here we have a list of all of these orders. There are 20,000 orders that have been, have been migrated in. Uh, we can search for this, for example, for this one customer. Uh, we can see all of their past orders. I can click on them and I can see what exactly was ordered and the tracking information, the items, the date. So all of the information is in here. Uh, and then for reporting purposes, there are several types of different reports available. So for example, we have a bar chart like this. Um, this is just sales by month for several different years. Uh, we can report different types of Results. So, for example, right now it's it's returning untaxed total. So we could also return total sales. So, adding in the taxes, and then we can also filter these results. So, for example, in here, I don't want to review the sales of all of these years since 2011. I will say that I want to only look at sales starting from uh, the first of 2000, well, the beginning of 2017, for example. So see the data is formatted differently. If I want, I can save this. Um, I can save this as a standard filter. Here we go. And from this data, I could also show more information. So I could I can click on this different view of this data. So it's a it's another way to look at it. See, I can look at all of the months or quickly filter just 2017 and up. And here's the data now. And uh, from this data, I could, for example, I, I might want to look at more information, more granular information. So I could filter or show the sales by additional parameters. So these are some of them that are shown right now. Uh, I'll say, for example, by product. And then I could see how many of each product were sold in that month. Um, but if this is too much information, I could, for example, further filter the information and say, um, you know what, I only want to see the sales of, for example, Ansel brand product. So I type it in here, click product. And uh, all of my results are filtered for just this one brand. So there is a limited amount of sales for this and I see all of the items that were actually sold for all of these periods. If I want I can type in a part number instead. And see the sales just for this one specific part number. And then I could switch back to the bar chart and I can see that in here. or I can apply multiple filters. So it's 11500 or Ansel. So there are you know, all the details in here. And I could add, for example, other keywords as well. So the report is uh, responding to whatever I need to see in it. You look at it in different ways, of course, if this helps. But this is just some of the reporting. Uh, analytical reporting could be set up in here as well. And then you could assign special tracking accounts to your sales and, for example, to the time tracked by your fulfillment personnel. So you could see profitability for services. Um, you could see various profits and losses overlaid next to each other. And then besides that, uh, I'll show you another database that we have with a couple of additional functions. So this is a, it's a sample company that we have. Um, it, it has real sales, but we set up a very, very simple website for it just so that there is real activity so we could, we could have real life scenarios for things. And uh, we track it in here. So um, this is the total sales for this little company. 
Um, and then you can see that the, the their sales report shows different sales teams. It shows the totals and the monthly totals. And uh, besides that, we could also we have other options in here, but I could also group by other things or group the information. So for example, I'll say I want to see sales by salesperson in here. And then in here you could see that instead of the months, I have the salespeople. So I can also do the same thing in here. And I can I can see my sales by a particular salesperson over each month. So you can see in here we have just a four works salesperson as a generic user, Kenneth Adamson, and then there's an undefined user which is for online sales. So this is an additional report you could run and uh, you have flexibility in what you look at in here. You could save things into favorites. And another simple report that's in here is uh, in the accounting dashboard, the P&L report. So for example, right now we're looking at uh, last month's sales. So we, ha we can have multiple accounts to, uh, to separate the revenues and the costs into multiple things. Uh, and I can also run comparisons for other periods, which is similar to the way it works in QuickBooks, for example. So here I'm running five months to compare to, and I can see you know the different expenses and all of the different uh, costs and revenues. And once again, because this is a sample company, there are no other actual uh, expenses recorded here because we don't invest uh, money into it. So I can I can run more months so that we have more data. This is some of the reporting possibilities. There are some other reporting possibilities possible uh, that uh, may require a little bit of additional setup from the beginning to start recording the data and attributing it into correct accounts. Uh, and some other reports are just out of the box.